Today I'm putting up my 100 horsepower go-kart against this 450 horsepower go-kart and seeing how they stack up in different scenarios. Both of these frames were built completely from the ground up. Both are street legal go-karts. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test these bad boys out. So one of my subscribers reached out through Instagram and he had this Aerial Atom he was building. So go ahead and tell me more about this platform. So like you said, it's an Aerial Atom replica we built from the ground up. It was all straight tubing when we started and me, Zach, uh, Watson, and a few other people got together and built this. It's a 1400 pound car, makes 450 horsepower, K20A2 turboed on fuel tech and it's a handful. It's a lot of fun and it took about a year and a half to build it from the ground up. So since it's an all custom build, we had to figure out what to do. We ended up going with Mazda Miata spindles and we welded uh, grade eight bolts to them to be able to use the heim joints we needed. And so this is the entire front Miata, Mazda Miata front end and we went with your basic push rod style suspension like a real aerial atom double adjustable coolovers, and then the radiator is a basic Honda Civic radiator. Um, it, I needed as much cooling as I could get possible with it going to the back, and it seems to be cooling great. Um, next, we're on nine and a half inch wide wheels, front and rear, I kept them square so I can rotate them. Oh, one question I have, did you use the brake booster? It is deleted. Um, I ended up going with a custom, I think it's OBP is the name of the company for the pedal box. And so they're straight manual brakes. So you have to put a lot of pressure on it to stop. Uh, you want it for consistency. Brake boosters, when racing, you don't have consistency. That's why you don't run them. And then let's check out this turbo kit here in the back, which is also a work of art. I like those uh, cheap <laughs> motorcycle taillights. I have a few of those too. They come in very handy. I think they were like $38 a piece on eBay. Uh, it's all basically a budget build as much as possible. Uh, it is a knockoff 35R, 63 exhaust. Anybody that knows turbos, it's a really small exhaust for quick spooling. Uh, seems full power about 3,000 RPMs and we rev it out to 8,200. Um, and then everything else, this is a knockoff gate, knockoff blow -off valve. It was budget as could be and still make good power and reliability. And stock internals or It's forged? a bone stock motor. It actually has 185,000 miles on it. We got it from a RSX Top S. Wow. So it was a running driving car that we ripped apart and transferred over everything over into it. Uh, so this thing had the valve cover pulled for some bungs to be welded on. That's it. And it made 450 to the tire. Jason Waters tuned it and did amazing on fuel tech. It's got an FT450 on it, tuned on E85 and it's it's everything i wanted and more just want to take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor squarespace squarespace makes it easy for creators like me to monetize their content in a way that fits their brand so whether it's things like videos courses or newsletters you can monetize that one of my favorite features is their email campaigns where you can send out personalized emails to help grow and engage your audiences it's a powerful tool to drive sales and also to engage your community. Squarespace has the perfect online stores, so it doesn't matter what you sell, whether it's physical or digital, they got you covered and you can customize the website to your liking and choose a unique domain. And with scheduling, your clients can quickly get in contact with you, schedule and book appointments. So guys, head over to squarespace.com slash builds and use the code VasiliBuilds to save 10% off your first website or domain. That'll be the first link in the description. Check it out. Well, let's go ahead and get right back to the video. All right, guys. So we got the Adam. We got the cross guard. We're about to hit the mountain.
Guys, these Chinese off-road tires just do not give me enough grip. I mean, every corner I was oversteering or understeering, just a combination of both. So, I mean, I really like these wheels though because they're they're extremely light. Um, so yeah, that's nice. How did this thing fare? Oh, it did great. Um, if I kept my foot out of it, as soon as it come in boost, it'd start spinning. So I'd just come up on you and lift. And I got a lot more tread than you do. Yeah. So it helped out. These tires seem to do okay as long as I didn't pin it too hard. But it did good. First corner, though, when you went off wide, it was so wet down there. We weren't anticipating that. Yeah. Because dry. Because you just kept going. Yeah. Like, man, I hope the front bites. So luckily, it, their off-road tires are good when you got in the dirt. And I, I do think that's something to do with the way I have the Ackerman. It's reverse Ackerman. So it, it kind of sucks so we're gonna go ahead and take this thing for a rip and i'm super excited to feel the power on this thing i'm sure it's it's gonna be something like no other i mean i have been in a lot of fast cars but i think this will this will be one of a kind <laughs> absolute riot i mean he probably didn't even go past half throttle and it it felt insane so yeah guys this, this would be a blast to build so stay tuned who knows uh this crazy idea not really but I built a hitch for the cross car because I wanted to tow stuff with it and there's a big car meet in town called Riverside I wanted to put the Grom on the back and pull up to the car meet but um, unfortunately the idea was only good in my head so I bought this $80 eBay hitch and I've overbuilt the crap out of it it goes in like that and when I put the Grom on there and I went for a drive, it turns out that the cross car wouldn't even steer because all this weight in the back, it just makes the front end way too light. So yeah, but put a jet ski on here, take it to the lake.
kind of knocking out two birds with one stone here. Turns out that the cross card can go anywhere in RZR can go. I mean, pretty much. So this is just kind of a belated birthday cruise thing. I uh, figured I'd toss this footage in because it just looks, it looks pretty fire. Sometimes you just gotta take a day off and do some hooning, just enjoy beautiful nature. So, luckily, I got some pretty cool friends um, with some cool toys. So, yeah, this is actually a abandoned rock quarry. There's a pit over there. Today's challenger, what is it? Uh, 2010 CTSV. What's it got done? A Whipple? Uh, it's full bolt on with a cam, tune, injectors, longitude headers, just the basics. We're gonna do a 20 roll first and then what, a 40, 60? Yeah, yeah. 